Hey everybody, it's Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher, and, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. And holy shit, a brand new Animal Crossing oh, game is oh, launched here! Oh, we're just getting right to it, aren't we? Right fucking to it! Oh man, so, so how excited are you guys that there's going to be new Animal Crossing? Oh my god, we just got done watching the new Direct. And Isabel some Smash? Yeah. She's smashing it up. She's damn old man smash. She's like too nice for She's smash. She's so cute. She's going to be OP because no one will be able to hit her. God, Stitches keeps talking to me about kicker sore. Terrible. That's weird. But yeah, I'm super excited about it. I like was not even like everyone was like we didn't even watch it. Yeah, we didn't even watch it. Like everyone was like waiting with bated breath, and I used to do that in the past. But this year, I was like, I don't care. You know, like this time, I just didn't care. Yeah. Uh, and then I fucking, like, Brian screams my name from the next room because yeah. he saw it trending on Twitter. I saw I Animal Crossing trending on Twitter and I was like, holy shit, you know, I know what you this knew, means. You knew what it meant. So, yeah, I pretty much lost my mind yesterday. There was a lot of things we lost our minds over yesterday, though. Mostly that, though. That was pretty much <laughs> it, though. But Katamari Damashi coming out on Switch, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm excited about all the board games coming to Switch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, clock. snap. Look at our illuminated yeah, clock. I just wanted to come out here and take a look at it. So That's the only reason why we're here at night. So it goes the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, let's go in at nighttime so that we can see the clock. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's super fucking awesome. I cannot wait. It was such a teaser trailer, mm -hmm. too. Like, see nothing a about it. A big old teaser. So I really do hope that they're able to implement um, Happy Home Designer level mm -hmm. of stuff with yeah. uh, the Animal Crossing. Got our drinking fountain. But yeah, so Brittany and I are both uh, re relieved as well. So we didn't know. We weren't sure like how to go about it if they released an Animal Crossing game while we we're in the middle of recording Animal Crossing. Uh -huh. uh, because obviously that's the one we're going to want to play. And uh -huh. like people would obviously want to see that one. Yeah. Uh, but we didn't know. Like, we wanted to complete a full year in this town just yeah. be, to complete our goal. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're actually super relieved that it is coming out next year. So we'll yeah. be finished with recording this. Yeah, Forest Life out. will be done by then. Um, I guess the big question is, will we do it again with the next one? With the new unlikely. One? <laughs> yeah, unlikely. We may, like, we may, like... If, if, our, if our YouTube channel blows up before then, <laughs> and it's because of this show... Sure. We may uh, do like maybe one or two episodes. Yeah, yeah. Just Force like, might come back. Yeah, we might we might just do like one or two episodes just to like show it off. Yeah. And show like what we think about it. Or different format. Yeah, yeah. But we're definitely just gonna be dicking around in the game. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be like this one. Oh, like we haven't been dicking around in this one though. Well, I meant like it's not gonna be like a full year. It's mm -hmm. not gonna be every day. We might do like I don't know like. Two or three episodes of it, just uh -huh. to kind of talk about yeah, yeah, just how we feel about, about it. Or something. Yeah. You know, I don't know. We'll see. Unless you, it's just uh, an idea. That being said, if you do like our show and if you want to see this format with the upcoming game, help us get some more subscribers and viewers. That's the only way to do it. Yeah. Because uh, we've been kind of like uh, holding the fort with this one. Like we're, we're doing it because we committed to doing it, but uh, probably won't do this again. <laughs> wow, just putting all that pessimism out there. Well, it's not pessimism, it's more just like we love all 10 of you that are watching <laughs> with us every single day. We do appreciate you guys, but um, it's a lot of fucking work to do yeah. this show. <laughs> uh, so let's go ahead. Do you want to pass on the. Yeah, we can. Whatever. But I want to see this pyramid. Yeah, I want to see this pyramid too. Yeah. Yeah, let's Sorry, see. Isabel, you're going to have to go to Smash, too. So there's a big uh, uh, big question in the Animal Crossing community right now is if Tom Nook is going to be mayor in the next event, next game. Why? Oh, well, everyone thinks he's going to, like, because he was the one that's saying, well, with the villager and, and Isabel gone, who's going to run the uh, town? Looks like I'm going to have to get to work is kind of what he says, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's a pyramid. <laughs> I love it's it. It's just a pyramid. It's really expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive. Um, Where do you want to put this bad boy? I don't know. Let me let me look up if the, any benefits to the pyramid. There's no benefits to the pyramid. It's just like the monument. Well, like, like the Stonehenge or whatever. It's yeah. just there. Pyramid. But the I'm thinking the more we put out, people will... More villagers will suggest things for yeah. us. You know what okay. I mean? Can you get rid of it later? <laughs> yeah, you can get rid of all of them, except for the ones they tell you they can't get rid of. Okay. All right. I'm, oh, here's a, I'm, I'm reading. Is the pyramid worth it? 
everyone's gonna be like, no. <laughs> like, it doesn't do anything. None of the public works products really do anything, you know? <laughs> this one's my favorite. Here's, I got two answers for you. This is from five years ago, by the way. <laughs> Great. Define worth it. <laughs> it's a pyramid. It looks like a pyramid. Mm -hmm. If that's what you expect from it, then it's worth it. And then the other one's like, <laughs> this is something you really have to answer for yourself, man. It doesn't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> if that's what you're asking about, it's just a question of whether or not you want a pyramid in your town. Well, I think we should put it right here. All right, fuck it. Put it right there. Let's put a bunch of sand things around it. Can you put it in the sand desert? Thing? The desert? The beach. Can you put it in that <laughs> weird like, side there's beach? there's no desert. <laughs> Can you put it on the beach? Let's find out. Can uh, you put it I don't on think the beach? you can put any public work projects on the beach. Let's find out. Because I've tried to put a picnic blanket down there before, and, and Isabel's like, why are you no one? Yeah, let's see if we can. All right, if not, we'll put it beside Bangles' house. Okay. Yeah. We'll snazz up Bangles' house because Bangles', up Bangles', Bangles means, house yeah. has been kind of lacking. Yeah, put some orange stuff around it or something. Yeah. Some gold things. There you know. go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just golden fruit. You know. Golden fruit everywhere. I like it. I like this idea. And if you like this idea, guys, hit that s subscribe button. We're going to do all the call to actions <laughs> on this one. All the call to actions. But no, seriously, uh, today. Uh, we got a whole bunch of national days, so I'm gonna get right into it, guys. Every day is national something day, and today is no exception. I am so excited about Hannibal Crossing, and I don't know how to put it into national days <laughs> right now. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm like still in shock that it's even happening. I am. I'm still waiting for them to come back and be like, just yeah. kidding. We're just kidding around. You're not gonna go to the beach first? Oh. I want to see if it'll go there. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm telling you all, but you don't trust me. Don't. I want you to show me. You said you would. And now you're all like, hey, <laughs> you're not paying attention. Guess what, bitch? I am. No, do it to Top Beach. Top Beach. Well, it doesn't matter because. Yeah, oh, she won't okay. let us go to the beach at all, so I was trying to tell you. Damn. It's like, we can't even go down there. Wow. That's a shame. Okay. So try to go down there with a picnic basket. Right. You're not listening to me. All right, well, guys, today, <laughs> our first national day is National Kids Take Over the Kitchen Day. Great. I'll be like spaghetti tacos. I know, right? <laughs> uh, kids and teens across the country are called to take over the kitchen on this day using their fa favorite recipes and make a meal for the family. Adult supervision and assistance as required for the young bakers and chefs in the house. Uh, so that was us today. Mm -hmm. we're, we we were the young bakers in, in the kitchen. Brittany made a pie today. I surely did. Uh, that was a tart, actually. I think that's right. But it was pretty good. Correct you. It tasted good. It was a uh, strawberry mousse tart. It was okay. Tart. I kind of like messed it up a little bit, so. It kind of melted, but, you know. I didn't have enough gelatin in it, so. Yeah. Damn it. It's like, you gotta have four. It's a big. Back and two across, so. It's a big old piece. Oh, we don't want it right there on the... the yeah. Alright. There's room right here, Isabel. Why are you fucking around with me? She said it has to be four spaces back, but... Look. One. Uh-huh. I guess I can't. Two. There's two. Three. Three. Four. Or walk on the other side of her. Have her there you go. Now do it. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think is well? Two plus the rock. <sighs> Three. Four. Alright. Get rid of that one uh yeah, right there. Man, we're gonna be here for a little while. Yeah. Wow. I guess this thing is just fucking huge. Oh, well, maybe we can pass up on it? I don't know. It's real expensive and it seems to be. I don't care. Nice. I don't wanna get rid I of want the it. sunshine, though. The sunshine? The little the tangerine tree stump. You like the tangerine tree stump? I do. Alright, I'll look where I was coming up with the stupid thing. Maybe the top? The top has got nothing right now. The top? Yeah, the top. Are you a uh -huh. flower? Uh-huh. Those are flowers! 
Well, we can get rid of some. I have to get rid of some. Anyways, guys. Sorry, um, we're like super focused on this thing. Yeah. Today is also National Peanut Day. Peanut Day. That's right. Likely originating in South America around 3,500 years ago, the uh, this legumi, I don't know how to pronounce that, legum, gumi, legumi, is not a nut. They grow underground like potatoes, and since they are an edible seed that forms in a pod, they belong to the family of leguminosae. Do you like it right on the path like that? Wow. Should I move it over a little bit? I don't know. Is it uh, directly on the path on the backside too? I don't think so. I think it's like the one down. I'll move it over just a bit. Okay. Um. Anywho, uh, <laughs> this belongs to the same family as peas and beans. And when it comes to plants packing protein power, peanuts provide a whopping eight grams per ounce. More than any other nut, according to the Peanut Institute. And remember, it's not a nut. Nuts grow on trees. So yeah, I learned something today. Nuts grow on trees. Nuts grow on trees. And the peanut's not a nut. The peanut's not a nut. We just talked about that the other day. Yeah. On National Nut Day. That's right. No, it wasn't National it was like, Nut Day. It was pecan. But we started song. talking about it. No, it was the squirrel's birthday. So. Oh, that's right. Pecan. Pecan. Pecan, that's right. All right, well, here it is. Looking great. Uh-huh. All right, so let's go get the money to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, guys, that's not it, though. Today is also National Uncle Sam Day. Uncle Sam Day. That's right. Sam Wilson, a meat maker. Uh, excuse me, a meat maker. A meat packer. <laughs> a meat maker. A meat maker. Look at that meat. He's making all that meat. <laughs> Uh, the meat packer from New York supplied barrels of meat to soldiers during the War of 1812. To identify the meat for the shipment, Wilson prominently stamped U.S. on the barrels. It wasn't long before the soldiers dubbed the grub a uh, delivery from Uncle Sam. As such nicknames tend to do, its popularity spread, and the first illustration of Uncle Sam is unlike the one we know today. Published by Harper's Weekly in 1861, the young government representative, a starred bandana on his head and wearing a striped vest, is depicted dividing up Virginia like a butcher. The image of Uncle Sam would take on many forms over the years, but credit is given to German-born illustrator and cartoonist Thomas Nash for developing the long-legged Uncle Sam with the starred top hat and striped pants, who is more like the one we know today. The Harper's Weekly political cartoonist took on many issues with his Uncle Sam character, including Bosch Tweed and union recruitment and reconstruction. So yeah, Uncle Sam Day. That's weird. My per favorite version of Uncle Sam is the one in that movie, Across the Universe, mm -hmm. where it's just like crushing the guy that's at like the Vietnam War. Like, uh... Sign-ups? Sign-ups, yeah. <laughs> sign up for the war! Yeah, it's really weird. <laughs> Sounds like a, like, you sign up for tie-dye or something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> sign up for hot yoga. Do you remember that part I'm talking about? Yeah, that? I was talking about. It's a pretty cool part. <laughs> yeah, it is, but that whole movie's pretty cool, so... Well, Brittany, you know what? I'm I actually just... knew that story about Uncle Sam because I read it in the back of my history book. There was this really cool part that was like trivia about the U.S. Okay. And it had like a bunch of interesting shit in it like that. And it talked about like, you know, which each color of the flag represented and all that. Mess. Yeah, yeah. But I remember reading that going, this is cool. They don't teach us. God damn it, it's closed. They don't teach damn us. damn TNT Emporium. Mm. Just trying to like sell stuff in my pocket so I could get money mm. right then and there. But yeah. it's like, no. It's closed. It's closed. I'm going to have to go back up there and get more money after you pay this money. Well, Brittany, I'm going to go ahead and get the birthdays. Ba ba birthdays. Ba 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 birthdays. Um, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We really do appreciate it. Um, our first birthday today is Fiona Apple. Fiona Apple. Fiona Apple turns 41 years old today, born in 1977. The singer-songwriter, who was also a recipient of the Grammy Award for Best Female Rock Vocal Performance, she has released songs like Sleep to Dream and Criminal to critical acclaim. 
I remember like Criminal pineapple. being crazy. Yeah, I like, I like that song. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, our next birthday is Road Dahl. Road Dahl, born in 1916, was a Welsh-born novelist, screenwriter, and fighter pilot who what? authored such children's classics such as James and the Giant Peach, The BFG, and Matilda. Many of his popular books, including The Witches, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and Fantastic Mr. Fox, have been made into feature films, and he died in 1990 at age 74. Uh, Fantastic Mr. Fox is my favorite one of those. Yeah. Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's such an amazing movie. I've never actually read any of his books, though. Me neither. I only... I've seen movies, obviously, but I've mm. never actually read any of the books. I mean, um... I, I didn't watch... Char I mean, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is okay, but Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was my favorite movie version. Yeah. Yeah. The older one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I watched that recently, actually. A couple months ago, it was on Netflix. Yeah, <laughs> I talk yeah. about Netflix all the time. But uh, I watched it, and uh, it was really awesome. It's still awesome, but I still skip through that Charlie song when his mom sings. I think everybody skips through that song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the mm -hmm. Cheer Up Charlie. I was like, oh, this song is so long. Yeah, yeah, boring. no thank you. Just get to the factory already. Right? Jeez. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for birthdays, Brittany. What about um, the animals? Well, that's not true. We got Moose the Mouse. Moose the Mouse. Moose the Mouse, who likes flashy and yellow things, but nothing modern. Well, I am almost done paying off this pyramid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've been... This is a big I literally pyramid. did not have enough pocket space to get the money to that's pay That's crazy. Off. I had to, like, sell some stuff. We got, I, I guess we have a pyramid now. Yeah, we're gonna have a pyramid Fuck think it. I'm fucking around? Look, I'm not. We're like so close to the end, and we're just like, fuck it, I put mean, it in the town. I have a bunch of money in the bank, but I, I'm not really. Yeah, we're not gonna I use I don't use the money like that. So. Yeah. I even got too much money out. That's okay. Now you'll have some extra. Look at that. Oh, paid man. It off. One go. You paid it off, and I got the hiccups. Got the hiccups. I got the hiccups now. Well, it's probably a good time to uh, leave for tomorrow then, so you yep. can overcome that. I gotta overcome the hiccups for next episode. Alright guys, catch you tomorrow for the Pyramid Day. <laughs> That's right. Bye everybody. Bye.